everyone. You are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Here we give you the latest update of Nigerian news. Thank you very much for subscribing to this channel. If you have not, please kindly do so by pressing the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Once again, God bless you. Trending. Arua Group says no one can stop Tinubu from becoming Nigeria's next president. They reported presidential ambition of Asiweju Bola Ahmed Tinubu seems to have gotten the support of a Nortana based group known as the Arua Youth for Peace and Security. The group, in a statement on Thursday, July 23rd, said no one can stop Tinubu's presidential ambition if it is destined by God, the tribunal reports. The Ariwa group made the statement when reacting to remarks by the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ingige, about the national leader of All Progressive Congress, APC. The Ariwa youth accused Ingige of making uncomplimentary remarks about APC leader before a House of Representatives a court committee. It said the minister's reference to Tinubu as his mates while exchanging ways with a member of the committee, James Faleke, was in bad taste. The Arua group alleged that Ngige's comment shows that some people in the present administration were opposed to Tinubu becoming the next president of Nigeria and are not ready to stop him. Sorry, and are ready to and they are ready to stop him. Okay. The group asked the minister to apologize to Tinubu over his comments and advise those it preserved as working against the purported aspiration of the APC leader to refrain from speaking bad about him. Meanwhile, it will be recorded that a former governor of Zamfara State, Senator Ahmed Sani Yarima, has declared that President Muhammadu Bari will not endure the presidential ambition of Asiweju Bola Tinubu come 2023. Yarima, a two-term senator, made this statement during an interview with Daily Trust newspaper. The former lawmaker said rumors making the rounds that the president and the All Progressive Congress APC national leader were inconsequential. His words I don't think Nigeria belongs to any of them, and I don't think anyone in any position can determine what Nigeria should have. Politics is about an election for people to decide what they want. So, it is the majority of the people that will determine who they want. If President Buhari signed an agreement with Tinubu, that agreement cannot be implemented, even in getting the ticket. It cannot guarantee Tinubu's ticket. Agreement or no agreement is a political statement, but I don't think that is possible because I don't think that President Buhari, I know, will sign any such agreement. He knows that he does not have the power and the authority to hand over power to whomever he so wishes, he said. So, hello viewers, what's your take on this? Aruwa Youth said, Aruwa Youth said, uh, no one can stop Tinubu from becoming Nigeria's next president. <laughs> As you can see, our uh, Nigeria uh, election does not determine again uh, when you talk about election. No, that one is not there. Because people will go and vote after voting. You see them announcing another person as the, as the winner. So many Nigerians, they are even tired of uh, voting. When you hear people will say, I bet I'm not going to go vote because they don't know who they want put for power. And this is very, very wrong. When people will determine that this is the person we want, they themselves, the Kaaba will want that, the, the, another person. Okay, so it's not, it's not fair. 
Election is, is when you choose, you make your choice. But in Nigeria, it's no longer that. People go out to vote, and they, at the end of the day, another person is in there. You understand? And this is really tiring and uh, disgusting. So many Nigerians are even sworn not to go to, uh, to vote anymore, pulling to go to, go, to go to vote, because after voting, you see another person in there. So that is it. Okay, let's hear from Nigerians who have reacted to this. The first person I have here said, the so-called Arua youth are enjoying the war chest of Tinubu ahead of 2023 presidential election. If two billion vans were stationed in his house on the eve the the last presidential election just to support the, his party when he was not even a candidate, imagine what will happen if he decides to be a candidate. I guess that Iowa youth are interested in benefiting from the campaign funds. They have no genuine interest in Tinubu. Hmm. Okay, someone said they are going to punish all of you. All these politicians that have used Nigerians resources and, uh, and dump us. <laughs> I don't really know what you mean by dumping Nigerians. Okay, someone said, yeah, yes, so we are not planning to stop him in any way. Just that, without giving us Biafra, that election no go whole. Biafra is all we care, we care for, not an animal kingdom president. Okay, someone said, yeah, if APC wishes to be, wish to be a life running party in Nigeria, they should not make a mistake Okay, to choose Yoruba or Igbo as their presidential candidate, except Hausa of Fulani with millions raising. Okay, well, let's talk about this. Does it mean that uh, Hausa and Fulani are the only people in Nigeria? So these are the people that is only going to be the president in Nigeria. Why other uh, other other states will be left behind? You know, life is not so. Let it go around. That is how it's supposed to be. It's not the presidential seat is not meant for a particular person. Okay. Okay, someone said yeah, if Nigerian presidency is not a matter of round table session, then nobody should attack Yarima for saying the simple truth. Sorry, nobody should attack Yarima for saying the simple truth. Okay, someone said they're yeah, plain talk and it's truth. Do not let Yarima hear. Okay. Someone said here, yeah, from the looks of things, Tunubu will surely be the next uh, president by the grace of God. Imagine if there will be APC convention and Tunubu is contesting. Who do you think will win? Okay. Someone said here, yeah, Ingige is educated, not those aboki that is claiming to be educated. Okay. All right. Someone said here, yeah, don't worry. That is how they push Abiola to his vet. Continue now with the liquor. Buari will never hand over power to any other tribe than Hausa or Fulani. If he tries it, he, he himself knows the consequences. It can't work. These ones don't know what they're talking about. Okay, someone said, yeah, political Arua has finished thinking about how, how to rig their elections of banditries are big. Make I sit down. Okay, someone said, yeah. Tinubu we do everything possible. Okay, Tinubu we do very, very well. If he becomes the Nigerian next president, I pray seriously for him to become our next president by the grace of God. Okay, someone said, yeah, which I realize is even talking. You people are just trying to look for where you will benefit. But God is watching every one of you. Okay, someone said, yeah, leave us to choose who will be our president. Okay, we have to stop this handling over power. We Nigerians, we are ready this time to choose who will rule us, who will rule us not political parties anymore. Okay, someone said, yeah, uh, political leaders in Nigeria are all devils and demons. Whenever they want to leave, they will leave. They will leave their garments.